So you remember everything I told you earlier, right? Channel switch. You hear me, right? Yep. Alright, and you hear me now? I'm at normal. Yeah. Alright. We have some weapons in here if you want to go into here. Weapons and equipment. Right now, if you look at your uh, equipment, we have, we're equipped with the uh, AAC badgers that fire AAC 300 blackouts. Okay. Uh, I'm going to switch out my revolver, by the way. Just make sure you hit arsenal and not uh and yeah. not inventory when you switch it out. We have revolvers, obviously because we um we're supposed to be covert, but I'm not gonna walk around with a revolver and it's gonna be actually loud. Get a six R a clock Yeah, I don't know if you want to switch that out. I switched mine to, uh, what you call it? A Glock 22. I don't know if you I want to keep be... your revolver. Yeah, I'll be fine with mine. Alright, just know yours is going to be extra loud. Okay. Alright, so, look at the map. Do you have a UAV terminal? Do you have a UAV terminal? Please. <laughs> if you go to, uh... Your inventory, uh, it should either say next to your map at the very bottom, between your map and radio, it should either say GPS or UAV terminal. Okay, this is GPS. You want a UAV terminal? Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, well let me look just in case. You'll okay. see it in the stream anyways. Open UAV terminal, connect to our daughter, and he wants... Channel switch. Uh, do you still hear me? Yeah. Okay, I don't know why it said ten channel switched. Yeah, okay, everything's good. So. Yep, everything's good. I don't know, when I switch to the darter, is that channel switch like an idiot? Yeah, I know. I heard that too. Okay, take UAV, turret controls. Alright, so... Let's see. Um, so I'll highlight on the map. Okay. Flashlight. On. So it looks like we have some hostiles in this area. Mark 
here with some hostiles in uh, this area right, right along here. I think some more around this area. And definitely some in this area. Saw a few somewhere here, I believe. Um, how do you want to go about this? My on your map. map. Is black. Oh, make sure on when you're in your map, it's because it's yeah. nighttime. You hit uh, control windows. Yeah. You see control windows? Okay, now you see, you see some self actions, you see flashlights. Yeah. Go to flashlights and select whichever one you want. I think you only have one since you don't have a, a flashlight with a pistol. There you go. I see you using it. Just make sure you're all the way to like. Blue Pearl yeah. Industrial Port, you see it, right? Yeah, I see it now. Okay. Yeah. In case you lose where in the map we are, just always go to briefing and our, our task description and it'll always show you Briefing. the area that we're supposed to be concerned about. Okay. It's all hyperlinked. You can actually click on them if you can. The links. So how do you want to go about it? Take the high ground, sneak at them, or maybe you shoot at them and I shoot at them from a different angle? How do you think? i try that. I mean, yeah, let's do that. I don't really see any other way we could. Okay. I'm going to highlight where and what the path we're taking in uh, the road. Mostly by marking uh, which which turns we're taking. We should probably go somewhere uphill and then go back down. Okay. Oh, so that we can see them without. Just know that the weapon you have right now is a close range weapon. It's an A A C badger, so you cannot snipe with it. You cannot at all. I'm thinking since I see enemy in the highlighted red areas, uh, we can use these areas as cover. Maybe attack them from this angle. That's pretty messy. Attack them from that angle, and then use uh, again this this building as cover, and maybe attack them from that angle as well. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Um. But remember that this is our main objective, and the the. Red triangle, rectangle. I mean, what the hell? Uh, we should probably should maybe at some point go around, get these uh, that main target. Um, probably use these elevated points as cover. Mm -hmm. And we we're definitely gonna have to shoot and move. Can't just stay in one spot. I'm yeah. thinking maybe. Yeah. Start attacking from here and then keep moving and keep shooting and keep moving. Alright. Alright, so we're mainly going to be uh, attacking from the south. Do you have uh, demolitions on you, right? Mm. On your backpack? Like got bombs and stuff? Stun grenades. <laughs> Okay, make, switch out your backpack to like a carry all, carry out bombs. OGA, come carry.
carry all OD, all of green, uh, explosives. Taking so long. Huh? Taking so long. <laughs> what? No, I'm just saying in general, it's taking so long. Um. Yeah, because I made a bunch of mistakes earlier on in setting this up. Make sure you're taking a. Uh... Damn, that doesn't fit. See what I can get rid of. your MREs into the car, into the jeep. Oh, we have a bunch of explosive devices in here. Oh, okay. But uh, make sure you leave your uh, your food and stuff in, inside here. Because we're probably not going to be needing too much of those and they take up a lot of space. Laser designator. Do you want to carry flashbangs or uh, or uh, the what you call it? Stun grenades. Yeah, you want to carry the stun grenades or uh, or the explosives. Uh, explosives. All right, so you can leave the stun grenades in the car and put in your book bag the M one one two times four. one in my book bag. You might have to move some stuff in your book bag into your uh, slash bandolier. You can also get rid of the wire cutters since I'm carrying it. So I'll carry the wire cutters. I'm carrying saline, surgical kit, Make sure you you leave blood on you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Now you can fit some more stuff, right? Just a little bit, hold up. Oh, did you put some stuff from your book bag into your uh, vest? Yeah. Yeah, because that'll free up some room. Although the only thing you can put at this point is just bandages into your vest. It kind of sucks how limited we have, how limited stuff we can take. How many uh? M1122s one, one, are you carrying? Three. Three? Okay, I have yeah. uh, one. You know, let's come back to the car if we need more. Okay. Alright. Pulling up GPS. Alright, ready. We're moving out. You don't want to bring anything else into the car? No. Okay. That should be covert, so lights off. Also, do you like the moon? Well, I mean, you don't see the moon, but you like the moonlight? Because that way it's not completely yeah. pitch black. Or it's, it's, okay, it's, it's okay, right? It's okay, yeah.
Don't stick your head out the window or you're uh, getting your head chopped yeah, off. Yeah, it's oh. yeah, I'm trying to find a way to put my stuff in my Oh, you can put like your rifle in or just like roll in and say turn in. Or double hit control, I guess. Yeah. There, there you go. You have to hit control, right? Yeah. It's because it's an open jeep and armor thinks you're trying to like point out the window. Oh. It would that doesn't count the where you're at as a window, it counts it as like a like a gunner's door. Just like a helicopter armor. Are you okay with it being like a short range weapon? Yeah. Okay. Just remember that, uh, just remember that, uh, you need, like, at least three rounds center mass to down one of these guys. Oh, really? Yeah, like, at least three, maybe four, because it's a close-range weapon. And, uh, what you call it? Um, also, try to expose this very little as you can as possible, just like we did in the trainings. And shoot and move, just like we did in the, in the, in that range the first time. Yeah, yeah. Huh? No, so I want to try to do it quick so that I can do the rest of my laundry. Okay. And then, you want to buy like sandwiches or something to eat? Yeah. I also have a training with my Milsim group at like uh, 8 o'clock, so. Alright, so hopefully this doesn't last too long. Yeah. I was gonna get a chicken, but. I already been waiting. Yeah, tomorrow. Much, I'm going to work tomorrow for the first time, but uh, they're all already giving us lunch, so breakfast and lunch. Okay, that's fine. So I'll just do the chicken food tomorrow, dinner. Oh, I'm working tomorrow. Uh, I should be ready by, for dinner. Yeah, just do what you can. Uh, if not, just wash it and I'll cook it. Yeah, no, no that's fine. Okay. Alright, we're gonna try to go into the... Should we go into the trees now? Or... Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's gonna... Kind of harsh. Thank God the moon's out because otherwise it'll be pitch black. And remember what it's like shooting with night vision? It, yeah. it, it sucks. Okay, trying not to expose too much of ourselves out here. Emergency brakes. Uh, engine off. All right, let's get up. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you. Um, there's a. Uh, oh, let's mark it on the map where where we left this uh, thing. So we're right now at coordinates one two eight one one two. Yep. Eight one one two. We're a little further bef below the point where I sat. Two, eight, one, one, two. You know where we're at, right? Yeah, I see it. Do you, can you mark it on the map? Wait, wait. okay, yeah, run that area. Uh, a little bit actually closer to the point, closer, closer to this end. How oh, close to the end? Yeah, but like right, right behind the trees, like this area. I don't know if you uh, see where I'm pointing. Yes. Yeah, All right, there you go. Yep, that's where we're at. All right. By the way, uh, there's a full-on firefight going on down past the hill down there. Mm -hmm. That's uh, that's the Taiwanese fighting uh, the invading Chinese. So don't mind that. As long as you stay out of that far, far distance, way out there, we're fine. As long as you just stay in the in the ship and dock. Pull out your binoculars, I think. You don't see anything so far, do you? No. Alright. We should probably go and whisper. Let me see. Okay. Whisper is a uh, control tab.
You're in Whisper, right? Yeah. Alright. Remember, uh... The, the faster you run, the louder your, your footsteps are? We don't have a entrenchment tool, right? No, we don't have entrenchment. Alright, take cover. Uh, while well, I look at the UAV. Alright, so looking at the drone footage, um, we definitely have some guys walking in, in those areas and that are marked red, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, we're nowhere near close to them, are we? I think we're, let's, let's start moving, but don't venture out. Where are you? Where are you? Still in the spot. <laughs> oh, there you are. Yeah. Alright, so if you look down there, yeah. you already you already see the um the shipping containers, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that means that right where the shipping containers end, there's like a squad or like a few patrols around mm -hmm. there. And actually if you look further down Below the orange hoops, yeah. you can already see uh, a few of them already patrolling. Y you see them, right? Moving beyond the trees. Past the trees. Yeah, past the trees. You already see them moving, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's stay in this uh, little crevice down here. Because if we can see them, then at some point they'll eventually be able to see us. So. Ooh, this is open ground. Uh, let's uh, go back into the trees. Actually, you can see uh, you can see what the UAV was seeing. So you you can familiarize yourself already. Uh, looking do you see the blue and red containers where I'm pointing at? Yeah. Yeah. So beyond that is uh, our target. You see some piers. Higher piers, yeah, piers. Uh, further down is where we s would see the uh, what you call it, the anti-air vehicles that the PLA launched. Deploy it out there. All right, let's keep moving.
You look like a like a like a CIA operator from one of those movies. Make sure you stay close to the grass so that way uh, they don't spy you. Because if you're too high up on that hill that you just were, they might actually spy you. So. Getting close to our staging point. Uh, let's move up behind this house. Let me open the UAV terminal again. Uh, make sure you keep an eye out for me uh, in case anything Hello. pops up. UAV terminal. Terror control. So actually, uh, if you look, if you were to peek out down this way, directly down the street, uh, is yeah. where they are. Uh, let's wait a bit, and then cross. Or actually, do you think we should, uh, do you think we should, like, open fire on a few of them, draw them out to the, to the west, and then us sneak to the east? Or you think that's too much? It's too much. Alright, so let's let's move straight to our objective. They don't stay glued to the walls, but definitely use them as cover. Also don't make too much noise, so they're trying not to walk through bushes. Keep an eye out always. Just try to imagine where, uh, where the enemy or where you will be patrolling, and that's where you can like foresee any enemies if if they were there. Yes. Uh, make sure you run across this area. It's open. All right. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to sneak through uh, these areas over here. Trying to get spotted. Ground. The target is down that area. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, t you can take out your binoculars and see from that vantage point if there's anybody while I sneak across. Try not to get spotted, uh, but definitely let me know if you see anything with your uh, binoculars that are in your book bag.
be wary that there's a uh, element moving towards your position. Uh, stay alert. Uh, they're coming in from your left. Uh, down the alleys. I'm coming back to you since you forgot your binoculars. Roger that. They're coming down from uh from this area. But I don't know if it's this lane or the lane further down. I had to set the UAV down because if if it was running out of fuel, if it just fell down it would have made an explosion, it would have alerted them that we were here. <laughs> you wanna take them out? Because they're already in the vicinity or should we just move ahead and Covertly take those guys out. There's like, like, I think two or three guys down that way. Yeah, we should take, um, take them out. All right, let's go. So, here's the binoculars. Mm -hmm. I'll put them on the ground. Take them. Alright. Now, if you look at this way, beyond the, the vehicles, you should spot a few of them. Yeah, I see them. How many do you, speak, how many do you see? I see one with my naked eye. I only see one right now. There's more somewhere. Uh, keep an eye on him. Uh, well, go take a look elsewhere. Damn, that was too hard to jump. You still have eyes on him, right? Yep. Alright, I'm going around uh, and try to see if I can spot anybody else uh, around the vehicles. Roger that. Oh, that's a ship right there. I don't see anybody else with my naked eye. Uh, do you have thermals in those binoculars? I have night vision. But no thermals? Nope. Alright, uh, alright, okay. Either way, I'm trying to see if you can, uh, see anybody else around. Uh, the guy looks like he was had his back towards us, which is good. Try to see if there's anybody else near the area. If not, then inch your way forward, but without uh, being, what you call it, while also staying alert to your surroundings, uh, left and right everything. You should see me inching forward too. Alright. I don't see anyone around them. Alright, uh, you can start inching your way forward, but again, stay alert to what's your left and right uh, without losing focus of the guy in front of you. Two guardsmen to my left. Right on the other 
outside if they want. Oh, so make sure you're hot. Uh, I'll keep you covered from this angle. I see you. Are they? You're facing the wall now, but are they like coming from your right of uh, of the wall or from your left wall? From the left. So they're coming back up towards the direction of the sea again, right? Yeah. Are they a significant threat? Negative. Alright, so let's continue inching forward. Uh... I'll keep watch while you keep moving forward, and then you do the same thing to me. Also make sure the guy, the first guy that we saw in the front isn't loaded to our presence yet, or hasn't moved. Gotcha. The two guardsmen that saw my left are basically doing their rounds around. Copy that. Oh, uh, so they're probably not a threat. They don't even know we're here. Alright. Uh, right past us right now. I'm gonna fire on the one in the front, you fire the one in the back, okay? Roger. Three, two, one, open fire. Let's move, uh, we should have shots fired, let's move, let's move, let's move. First guy's down, I took him out. Roger. Alright, I'm gonna lay bombs on the first uh, vehicle I see here, the anti-air with a massive turret. I'm gonna put bombs on it. Still up. Nice. Alright, place bombs while I take care of this guy. Hmm? Place bombs while I take care of this guy.
You know how to place explosives, right? No, I don't. Okay, so what you can do is you aim at the wherever you're gonna pl place explosive. Yeah. Okay. Now you can hit Control Windows, and then oh, you're gonna okay. hover over to where it says explosives. Then you're gonna put place, and then the yeah. M11. You got it, right? Yeah. Okay. Now let me know. Uh, you're not close enough. Pick it up, because you wanna attach it to it. Be a little bit closer. You ace interact with it. So windows on it. Pick it up. Option. Windows, not control windows. 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 Oh, oh yeah. And okay. Uh, make sure you're close to it so that it actually attaches. Yeah. All right, there you go. Okay. Now, just like you windows controlled uh, uh, maneuver with it. I'll go back to it and windows to it and put select trigger and hit the M what was it? The M one one the hell was it? M one five two. M one five two, not the timer, not the timer. That'll only give us thirty seconds. It doesn't give me the option to probably didn't load it. Let me do it, let me do it then. Right. You just go around pl placing bombs then. How many bombs do you have left? Uh, two. Two? You wanna... Yeah. Uh... Let's uh, destroy the... The last vehicle and the first vehicle too. Or maybe this one since it's close to the anti-air. This one? This one? Yeah, this one. And then we'll go back to the front and destroy the first one so that way when they deploy their vehicles they'll have trouble getting out. We don't have enough bombs around us right now. Thank you for got to put in your book bag the M152 trigger. I'll show um, you on, on the on the stream what it looks like. All right, let's go to the. Huh? That was the last one I had. That was the last one. All right, so let's go. Trouble taking the the last guy down? No, I just I just missed. Oh, you just oh wow. Yeah, because I was I was on laying on the grass. Oh, uh, so I you, thought I hit him. Yeah, no, because yeah, I, I was just, waiting for you to hit him, but like I saw just dust picking up around him. I was like, you know what? Let me just take him out just in case, just in case they happen to hit you without me noticing. Yeah, no, I I missed and and the heat went to the ground. So I had to get up to see where he was at and then shot him again. Alright, uh, what do you think we should go? You think we should go on top of one of these piers to get a good look at the the bombardment? Yeah. Alright. My guy's tired. And we're running out in the open. Yo. Alright, let's get on top of here. Hopefully they won't notice us. This gigantic cargo ship. Where's that ship? Oh, I see it. It's way down there. You can look at it. So here's the ship. Yeah. That they're gonna bombard, and our bombs are down there. Okay. So I guess uh, you can take cover, but know that the JDAMs have a 
higher reach. Uh, are we within 100 meters of them? Yeah. I don't think so. No, we're pretty far off. Yeah, I think I think we're safe. Can you see the flags on on that Chinese ship? Yeah. Some CCP flags. I see like a red banner from how far away I am. Yeah. No red star. The, the American flag at the front. <laughs> oh my God. Well, wow. That's that's done the editor. Wow. Oh well, it's supposed to be this uh, CCP flagship. Uh, make sure you take cover from uh, not just the JDM explosions, but our own explosions. So. Yeah. Stay down. And I'm gonna detonate everything, so ready? Yep. Three, two, one. And now look at the ship. Oh wait, did we only destroy one? No, we only destroyed one. Really? Yeah. How? Do, how? Yeah, we only literally destroyed one. We gotta go back. Let's go back. We have to destroy all three because they're uh, anti-air. So we could, now we're now we're in full combat mode. The good thing is they don't know where we're at yet, and they probably think it's uh, uh American bombs, like bombers. Mm -hmm. But the air force is not risking uh their planes to Chinese anti-air, so we still got to take them out. So, oh, let's, oh fuck, let's hide. You heard that shot, right? Fired at. There's already. Huh? There's already um people on the ground. Shoot. Okay. You can put your uh, voice volume to normal, so I can hear you better now over the explosions. You, you said you saw people on the floor. No, there were already um soldiers. At the pier, when, when the bombs go off, when the, after the bombs went off. Oh yeah, that's probably them, right? Yeah. Fuck. Alright, I know some of those tanks have uh, anti-armor stuff. So I'm gonna empty my bag here, and you cover me. Okay, so I'm gonna right. empty my book bag here. I can't need this anymore. Wire cutters, not gonna need them. I can need that many splints. Uh, all right, I'm gonna leave some of my. I have four magazines in my vest. I'm gonna leave some magazines next to you back here. Okay. Uh, actually, I'm, I think maybe I should keep in my book bag. Yeah, here's my bandolier. If you need magazines, they're inside the bandolier, okay? Alright. And should I be carrying all of these magazines here with me? Yeah. I'll, I'll leave my pistol too, so you know what? Leave the pistol. And... Three of these. And the dogs already already know we're here. <laughs> you hear them, right? No. no. Uh, it's probably on my mod then. Uh, keep watch while I sneak over.
Do you notice anything? I'm oh, sorry, do you notice anything? She saw a far and a uh, lone gunman. You said a lone gunman? Yeah, a soldier with a rifle. Uh, on the far end. where? Uh, opposite from where you went. Opposite of the anti aircraft. Can you point it on the map, please? Uh, it's just. I'm walking away. Uh, can you can you highlight it on the map? Well, I have it up right now. You can point at it, like click and point where you saw it. Uh, let me know on the map where you saw it. You can click and point. I'm on the map right now. Do you know how to use the pointer, right? You just click. I know, I know. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where. I'll put on the map where I am, and then you can put it in relation to where. You should see something highlighted as me. He's over here, but he already left. Where's over here? I just circled it up on the opposite side of where you are. Oh, okay, so, okay, so it's like, okay. Opposite. I thought you meant opposite of the lane, not opposite of. Alright, so. Try to use current directions like north, south, east, west. So that guy was directly south of us. Alright, keep an eye out for um, if there's anybody in my direction. Also, try to keep an eye out for that guy that you saw south of us. Job. I was panicking because I saw I saw two of them. There's only one. There's two, two directly opposite of you, uh, to your uh, west. I see him. I see him. He's down, make sure he's down. He's down.
three minutes. So I set a timer on the on the first one at the very northern uh, anti-air vehicle. Uh, after that, see, I have three minutes. So see if you can keep track of that. Three minutes. Roger that. Let me know when uh, one minute is left. Rockets. Roger that. All right. Uh, and I have three more back there. How much time do I have left? You have like one minute left now. Keep watch while I uh, obliterate these three things. You saw the JDAM, right? Yeah, yeah. I just need one more and then the Air Force is good to go.
The back blast of my rocket launcher uh, hurt hurt me, so I'm, I'm banishing up. And for the win. That is it. Yo! Take cover, take cover, take cover. They know we're here. See if we can spot them. Nope. Alright, we're done though. That was good, right? Yeah. Channel switched. You got three kills, I only got one. Wow, but I got four vehicle kills.